What's up guys, my name is Dr. Daniel Ricciardi. I'm a gut health expert, licensed pharmacist, and fitness enthusiast. I help clients with digestive issues such as bloating and gas so they can look and feel their best. Butane HCL is a supplement that you can take which usually comes in pill form and it's meant to increase the amount of stomach acid that you have in your stomach. And this is helpful because it can both help with digestion and absorption of food and nutrients. And this just basically helps you feel healthy, strong, and not have indigestion. A lot of times this medication is listed as butane HCL with pepsin. And this pepsin is a enzyme that helps digest protein. So this is also a valid form of this supplement. Today I'm going to discuss a question that I've heard a few times recently can you become dependent on betaine HCL? Meaning, if you stop taking it, will your body stop producing its own stomach acid? And will you keep requiring higher and higher doses of this betaine HCL in order to receive the same digestive support? All right, again, can you become dependent on betaine HCL? The short answer is no. I haven't read any studies or data that indicate this whatsoever. When betaine HCL is ingested into the body, it dissociates or breaks apart into its single components, and one of them being a single positively charged hydrogen atom called a proton. These single positively charged hydrogen ions are what make stomach acid stomach acid. They're what's doing the heavy lifting and the digestion, breaking down of food so you can get the nutrients from the food. By taking betaine HCL, we're literally doing nothing more than just adding stomach acid into our body. We are not altering any systems in the body for more than a very, very short period of time. Let's look at the research behind this to get a little bit of a better understanding. One 2013 study published by the Journal of Molecular Pharmaceutics took a look at betaine HCL and looked at two things. One, how long it took to start working and the duration of action, how long it continued to work for. And two, basically how much more acidic it made the stomach. We're looking at the pH scale and keep in mind with the pH scale, the lower the number, the more acidic. So it looked at a starting pH of around four, and then it looked at how good it was at bringing the pH down. And let's look at the first graphic that we have here. It indicates the onset of effect of betaine HCL was rapid with a mean time to pH, a pH under three of 6.3 plus or minus 4.3 minutes. So this part basically means that in order to get the pH down to where the stomach is very acidic, it only took about six minutes. So basically starts working in six minutes. And then it says the reacidification period was temporary with a gastric pH under three and under four lasting 73 plus or minus 33 and 77 plus or minus 30 minutes. And this basically means for the stomach to become not acidic again, it takes about 73 to 77 minutes. So this means that this medication increases stomach acid for about 75 minutes. So one hour and 15 minutes is how long it works for. And then if you're a more visual learner, here is also a graph to kind of just explain what I just said, but for a way you can see it and more conceptualize it. On the left of the graph, we have a pH scale. Again, remember the lower the number on the pH, the higher the acidity. So you can see in this study, that was a 2013 study by the Journal of Molecular molecular pharmacology. The betaine HCL was taken at minute 150. As you can see at minute 150, the pH is previously about five, but then shortly after taking the betaine HCL, the pH drops very quickly, becomes more acidic. It lasts for about 50 to 75 minutes, it looks like for these patients. And then after it, it wears off and the pH goes back to where it was in the beginning. And again, the betaine HCL only lasts for a very short period of time. So the next time that you eat, even if you don't take the betaine HCL pepsin, your stomach will try to put out as much stomach acid as it possibly can. Now let's look at the second part of this question. Will you keep requiring higher and higher doses of betaine HCL to get the same effect. 
Again, this is a no, but we do need to keep a few factors in mind. One, every meal is different. So depending on the size of the meal and then especially the amount of protein in the meal, it can kind of determine how much betaine HCL your body would optimally need if you need to take it at all. Two, and this is a probably a bigger one, depends on the amount of liquid consumed in the meal. So the more liquid that you drink during your meal, the more it's gonna dilute stomach acid. If you think of, you have maybe a cup of water and then you're putting little drops of food coloring in it. If there's only a tiny bit of water at the bottom, the food coloring is gonna be way darker because it's way more concentrated. Whereas if you drop the same amount of food coloring in a large bucket of water, it's not even gonna really do anything. You won't, probably won't be able to tell that the color is any different in it. So I always preach in a lot of my videos, take only small sips of water during meals, not large gulps, because it makes it a lot easier for you to have strong stomach acid. And third factor to keep in mind, for people that need acid support, the dose can vary greatly in how much your body needs. The capsules normally come as about 650 milligrams of betaine HCL, and a normal dose is actually between one and eight capsules per meal and you don't want to exceed this. Always start at only one capsule per meal. This is very important, especially if you've never taken it or don't know your dose. If you do take too high of a dose, you can get a heartburn, kind of like chest burning sensation up in here, like around your sternum. That means that you've taken too much. It is, however, the best practice to take the highest tolerable dose. So if you are tapering up and you notice that two pills, you feel fine, but then after you increase to three, you are noticing some of the symptoms, you know to discontinue for a day or two and then remain at the two capsules per dose. So that is just one example. As someone is tapering up to find the best dose for them, it is probably a thought you may have in your brain, like, am I becoming dependent on this? I keep taking more and more and nothing's happening. The answer is no, you just haven't found your perfect amount yet. That's just below the threshold of the highest tolerable dose. And then fourth, this doesn't really tie into needing a higher, higher dose or dependency, but I found it to be a very interesting topic. This is a chart from a 2020 study from the Journal of Integrative Medicine. It shows the effect of stomach acid slash pH levels in the stomach based on age. And they looked at groups with an average of 25 years old and then a group with an average of 71 years old. The green group is the 25 year olds and the blue group is the 71 year olds. As you can see, the pH of the 71 year olds is significantly higher than that of the 25 year old group. This means that they have a lot lower stomach acid, meaning their ability to digest and absorb food and get the nutrients and energy from the food is less. I used betaine HCL with pepsin during and after the time I treated myself for SIBO years ago. I slowly tapered up my dosage until my dose was actually from six to eight capsules per meal, which is on the high end. After several months though, I slowly weaned off until I eventually stopped completely. My story is an example that even if you're taking betaine HCL, even at a very high maximal dose, you will not become dependent on it. And after healing the root cause of my digestive issues, which was the SIBO small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, I ended up not needing it anymore, which I still don't today. There's a lot of other topics I could go into regarding betaine HCL with pepsin, but to maintain the scope of this video, I will not do so in this particular one. If you're struggling with digestive issues or think that stomach acid may be affecting you negatively in terms of your digestion, send me a message on my website at drdanielricciardi.com and schedule your free 30 to 45 minute consultation. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I post a new weekly video every Monday at 6 p.m. Central Time. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week.